Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J. Today we're playing The Bard's Tale. Oh my, that is loud. <laughs> Glorious old PC speakers on an EGA DOS computer. That is, oh, I love the little animations of the guy drinking and the shadows dancing in the fire. This is so cool. Thou uh, art in the Guild of Adventurers. So we can do various things. Can I control? No, I guess I have to point and click. Oh, I might be able to use keyboard controls. Let's say uh, create. Yeah, C creates a uh, character. Okay, I'll use the keyboard. Uh, it'll probably be a lot easier than the mouse. Anyway, select your race for your new character. So human, elf, dwarf, hobbit, half elf, half orc. I guess full orcs don't want to be in the group and gnomes. Uh, okay, let's start with the human. And here are your stats. So this is basically Dungeons and Dragons, I'm pretty sure. Strength, dexterity. Actually, well, it's just not true D&D, because it would be strength. What is it? Strength, dexterity, intelligence, wisdom. I don't know. It wouldn't have IQ and luck. Constitution, charisma, right? Strength, dexterity, intelligence, wisdom. Uh, Constitution and Charisma. Those are the six basic D&D stats, if I'm remembering correctly, but... Anyway, this guy's pretty strong. He's not so lucky. Gonna reroll. Uh, let's start with, um... Let's have, like, a Paladin leader. Uh, so we'll go with a human. Mm. I'm gonna reroll one, one more time. I don't know what I'm looking for here. A lucky, intelligent, strong human. Reroll one more time. Ooh, strong and dexterous. Not so smart, but he has constitution. Damn it! I, I <laughs> not the. Okay, this one looks pretty good. All right, we will be a paladin. I think we need a healer. This would be uh, Sir Sir Guy. Welcome, Sir Guy, to the party. Um, we're gonna add... <laughs> Clonk, Fist, Grat, and Bob. Sir Guy. Let's create a few more characters here. Um, let's go with... An Elven... Wizard. Wait, hold on, we need a warrior. Let's make some kind of, like, warrior rogue or something like that. Um, wow, this guy is better than the guy we just made. Alright, this is our warrior. Our warrior's name is, uh... This will be Jagor. Classic Gaming J character. Alright, now we need a, uh... Oh, let's go ahead and add Jagor. Uh, next we need a... Wizard. You know, the music was cool at first, but I'm kinda... I could do without it at this point. Uh, we want... Ooh... 16 IQ. You, sir. What's the difference between a conjurer and a magician? Magician feels like a David Blaine kind of person, whereas a conjurer actually has powers. I guess we'll go magician, though. This will be, uh, David Elf. And we will create one more character here. So we have a paladin, a warrior. We have a wizard. Should have a dwarf of some kind. Hunter. Kind of cool. Um, alright. Dwarven hunter. This will be, uh. Little Bob. Why not? I don't know. I'm not good at coming up with names on the spot, guys. Add a character. David Elf, Little Bob. We have room for one more. Let's create a uh, sneaky human. Create a thief. Good, uh, a good party has a variety of skills. So this guy looks pretty good. Although we do probably want, uh, what a gnomish thief. Are gnomes lucky? He's smart. I want luck to be high, though. I feel like gnomes are not lucky. How about, who is lucky? How about a hobbit? Oh my god, look at his luck. And he's weak. Okay, hold on, let's just see if we can get better stats. Oh my god, that luck is off the charts! 
You are a rogue. Uh, Bilbo Thiefy. <laughs> Welcome to the party, Bilbo. Bilbo Thiefy. All right, one, two, three, four, four. We might be able to add one more, but whatever. We're going in. Going in this way. Enter the city. All right, here we are in Scabray. Oh, that's, uh... We can use the arrows? We can. All right. You face death itself. Seven hobbits. Let's fight those little bastards. Sir Guy has the option of this battle. Um, he will attack. Jagor will attack. David Elf. What kind of spells does he have? Magic missile. Did that work? I guess not. I don't know. Everybody just attack. Little Bob has these options. Okay, you defend. Bilbo Thiefy can hide in the shadows. <laughs> just hide in the corner while we're fighting. All right. Let's see what happens. David L swings at the Hobbit and hits for three points of damage. A Hobbit slashes Sir Guy and hits for four points of damage. A Hobbit swings at Sir Guy and hits for four points of damage. A Hobbit swings at Okay, Sir Guy is tanking a lot of damage here. A Hobbit swings at Sir Guy and hits for three points of damage. A Hobbit swings at Jagor. Sir Guy, he's taking the brunt of it. Hey, we killed a Hobbit. One point of damage. We're going to fight. Let's just do party attack. Oh, wait. No, I, I guess party attack is attack one of your own dudes. We don't necessarily want that. Bend. Bend. All right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no. Great. All right, damage, damage, damage. Damage, damage. Okay, there's a lot of reading in this game just to see how much damage. Let's just look at the stats. I think that's the better way of knowing if we're uh, winning. So it seems like you can only have three people attack at once. I wonder if I should move david elf back and bring little bob up because little bob is a hunter he really should be fighting okay attack 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 defend defend yes okay oh wait jagor died <laughs> uh all right literally we left the uh we left the bar got in a fight with seven hobbits Jagor is literally dead. <laughs> like, it's like, imagine you go out for a night on the town with your friends, you go to a bar, you walk out of that bar, get in a fight in the parking lot, and, like, one of your buddies is dead, and you just got to, it, like, your night is just beginning. Like, this is not a good sign. Um, attack, 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 defend. And so we just ordered our party wrong. Um... Okay, we got some go. Oh, I skipped that by accident. We're in an empty building. We busted into some hobbit's house and killed him and all his friends. Now I need to try and find the bar. I'm getting lost really easily, though. Is that the house that we came from? Scabray. What is this? Two skeletons. All right. I mean, I guess we could run from skeletons, but oh god, Sir Guy died. All right, this <laughs> run, exit. How do we quit? Let's let's redo. Let's, let's redo. Uh, how do we quit this game? Okay, so I decided we kind of went into that one a little blind, and for the most most time we can't most of the time we can do that with games, and it's fine. But that one was asking me like what spell I wanted to cast, and I didn't even know what the spells were called. So, I mean, the Bard's Tale is an old school DOS RPG, as you saw there. It was very common back in the day for complex games like that for you to have to turn to the manual, um, but. Uh, 
You know, that said, I wonder if we should stick more with fighters rather than like magicians and stuff, because I don't have a physical manual beside me, so I can't just, you know, need continue to look uh look over at it. But let's just sort of see real quickly here. Also, as you guys saw, it sort of had that pseudo 3D uh effect, or I guess it was full 3D, but um, those games are a little disorienting, a little difficult to keep your bearing, so we're going to do our best, but I don't even know if we'll make it out of the city, to be honest, because it's really hard to, like, find your way around those kinds of, uh, uh, those kinds of, uh, games, I find. But anyway, here's a Conjurer Magician, by the way. One of the four classes of magic users deals physical creations. Okay, so this is sort of like, this, this lets you spawn, like, pets and stuff, probably, to fight for you. Um, deal with magic as it affects physical objects. Okay, that does not sound very useful, actually. Sorcerers deal with the creation of manipulation of illusion. A wizard. Uh, oh wait, these summon creatures. Wait, what does a conjurer do? Physical creation. How do you, which one uses magic to like zap the other guy with lightning bolts? Cause that's what I want to do, you know, throw fireballs and freeze them with freeze spells and stuff. So I, I don't know which of those four magical classes do that. If any, you think, you think they all could, but maybe wizards is not available to new characters. Oh, good. All right. Well, whatever. Um, let's see here. What am I looking for anyway? Short tune to affect the party or the foremost group member. Oh, maybe I should have a bard. We are playing the bard's tale. Maybe I should actually create a bard character. Conjuring deals with instantaneous creation of objects, um, but not unlimited. Which one has missiles? Not become magical, radiate a field. This is way too complicated. Why are there th why are there four magical classes? Uh, magic, flame, arc, fire, sorcerer's shield. Yeah, see, this is so many to memorize. I mean, again, you'd have the book in your lap back in the day when you play. Cat eyes. I feel like the spells are probably one of the more interesting part of the game. But since you know we're basically going to struggle to survive an encounter or two i think we're gonna go like all fighter barbarian kind of uh kind of mode all right there's no maps or anything in here i just thought i would double check the bard's tail telling you how to actually put a disc in kick a door open i like that okay let's go back to the game all right, returning to the Bard's Tale. This game's by EA, by the way. 1985, 86, and 87. So while your friends were playing Super Mario Brothers, you could have been playing the Bard's Tale. Um, all right. Let's... I feel like the main character has to be human. Maybe that's speciesist of me. But uh, let's go ahead and a Bard. No, we want warriors in the front. Um, all right, I, I think I still kind of want to have a paladin leading us, but maybe the number one dude should be a uh, warrior. Hard to say. All right, a warrior. This will be Sir Other Guy. Uh, now we'll create another character. He's going to have an half orc companion. You can have magical orcs. Hmm. But we're going warrior on this one. This will be Orko. Orko the Orc. Sort of like Spock. He has this like really deep backstory about how he was a, uh, an orc. Uh, you know, he was raised in a culture of orcs that were very logical. They didn't respect him because he had a human mother. And he had to go off and make a human friend. You know, like, exact, basically exactly like Spock. He's, he's our Spock. Um... And then we'll have a dwarf bard monk. I like having dwarf. I, you know what? I haven't actually even been paying attention to the stats. This will be uh, Greg. Greg the dwarf. Next, now that we have our fighters, first and foremost, 
But we have a half elf. I guess a half elf would be more of a Spock. Because elves are basically sort of like Vulcans. Only I don't know how large logical elves are, but. Um. I guess we'll have a half elf bard. He will come into battle wielding the mighty loot. Sometimes also a banjo. Um, this guy's name will be, um, Elfo. <laughs> I don't know. And we're going to have a gnome rogue. Or wait, I want a hobbit rogue because they're very lucky. Hobbits are very lucky creatures. You pet their heads and their luck rubs off on you. This will be called Thiefy Thief. Okay. Let's add our characters here. We're gonna ignore the first party and we're gonna start with Sir Other Guy, Orko, Greg, Elfo, and Thiefy Thief. Alright, now this this is gonna work. In fact, can I add maybe we'll add one of the legacy characters here. How about David Elf? Oh, we can't have six people. Alright, David Elf is like the one link. This is like a spin-off show. We have like one character from the first show come on to the second. Um, alright. We'll save the party. We'll call this the party time party. We'll enter the city, man. Alright, first things first. Okay, keep our bearings. So I just want to like figure out where everything is. Okay. So that's where the bar is, if we ever need to come back. I think I was right in front of the bar, but I kept looking at this building here. Let's see what's in this building. Bard's Tail, IBM, was from an original design by Michael Cranford. It was okay. It was just like a bunch of credits. Thank, thank you. Now, a lot of these early... I think Wizardry was the first early RPG I remember that had this sort of first-person perspective, which is kind of interesting. Empty building. Okay. I'm having a hard time keeping my orientation. Oh, the, the set. Why is this town infested with creatures? Or spiders. We're going to fight. We're ready this time. We put the warriors up front. Uh, attack, attack, attack. Defend. 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 Yes. Spider attacks, Sir Other Guy. Sir Other Guy. Greg swings but misses. Greg takes damage. Sir Other Guy hits. Orko swings and misses. Fight. Okay, Sir Guy's going to defend. Attack, attack. And defend, defend. Let's see what happens this time. Sir Other Guy uh, gets not on. Spider gnaws on Orko. Greg misses. Orko misses. Jesus Christ, we're just going to die again, aren't we? Attack, attack. We're, we're literally right outside the spawning point of the entire game. We can't even kill. Finally, Orko hits. Yes. We can't even... Oh, sir, the guy... <laughs> what the fuck? We're dead again. All right, well, I'm not starting again. This is insane. Why would they put creatures so powerful right in front of the spawn point that you can't even survive one battle? Gorko's dead too! Oh my god. This is insane. This is insane. Am I doing it totally wrong? Oh my god. Everyone's died. It's only Thiefy Thief and David Elf. They're going down fighting, man. How many spiders are left? I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh my god, Thiefy Thief, can you do it? Let's see what happens. Well, oh, everyone died. Everyone went, sorry, bud. <laughs> sorry about that, bud. Alas, your party's expired. I has gone to Adventurer Heaven. We literally died two steps out of the gate. Did I not equip weapons or something? What the hell? How do I load... <clears throat> how do I load a party? I mean, can we just remove all the dead characters? 
How about this? When a character dies, can you at least remove them from my goddamn roster? Making me do this myself. Okay, look, there's all his stats. He's dead, though. Might as well just chuck him in the river. Dead, dead, dead. Alright. Let- you know what? Let's start with the, uh... It turns out me bothering to make my own characters is a waste of time. Just add in whatever random characters. I don't even- what are these guys? That's a paladin. What's little Bob? I forget even. He's a hunter. Welcome aboard, little Bob. Bilbo Thiefy, he's a thief. It's a good name, because you know what he is. What's Clonk? Clonk the Conjurer. Well, there you go. Fisk. Fisk the Rogue, an elven rogue. Looks like a... a hobo. I can go back to rogues for a second. Like, he's a quote-unquote rogue. He's, he's literally shoeless, begging on a street corner. He, he's just a hobo. They're calling him a rogue, but that that's just straight up a hobo. <laughs> Alright. Here's my plan. I guess I'm gonna look for weapons somehow. I'll just look at every building just to see if maybe it's a weapon shop. Oh my god, seven dwarves. I didn't even go into... Oh my god, seven dwarves. Are these like the Snow White ones? Are we getting mugged by the Snow White dwarves? Okay, I don't know. Everybody attack. We're gonna die. You know, maybe we should just run. I think that's what I'm gonna do now. Run. And just everyone defend. Yeah. We're liter literally... <laughs> Run! Son of a bitch! I can't even get to weapons! I also have no idea where I am. I literally can't- oh my god, hey look, there's a building. Welcome where once our humble temple, who needeth healing? What can you guys do about dead people? 900 gold! Okay. Do we even have that? I don't think so. And just boot you out. You stand before a gate which is guarded by a statue of a samurai warrior. Let's attack it. Why not? Ooh, we're fighting a samurai. Alright, let's just get killed this way, I guess. Fight. Attack and defend. You know, I remember playing D&D &D games like this, actually, as a kid. Like, uh, I, uh, the Pools of Radiance, I think, was one of them. Um, it was similar to this with, like, the first person moving around, but in battles, you actually got, like, a top-down tactical view, and you can move your characters around and stuff. But I never remember fights being this difficult, where, like, you literally can't kill the creatures in the starting area of the game. Um, so we'll see. Looks like uh, all my characters are dead and some of the starting characters that I loaded in that pre-existed. No, one of the, never mind. I take it back. I was like, maybe they got, maybe they, maybe I'm stupid and I like didn't give my guys weapons or something like that. Or I have, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, we're dead. You know, you know what this feels like? It's like. It feels like this is the kind of game that had some kind of copy protection and I entered it in wrong. You know, like when it starts up, it's like, please enter the third word on the fourth paragraph. And if you type it in wrong, it's like, congratulations, you can keep playing. So it doesn't tell you you got it wrong. You're like, sweet. And then as you play, you're just crippled the whole game. Um, I think Arkham Asylum did that, uh, if I remember correctly. Other games have done it too. Uh, game developer story, where like they cripple the gameplay in some way if you have a pirated copy. And so pirates play the game, and they're like, sweet, and they get to a point where it's unbeatable. Um, and they're all confused. But this is, this is literally like, just the start of the game is unbeatable, we're dead again. So, uh, I mean, I'm not going to go any farther in this game, um, which is a shame, because I, I was all prepared to go, like, RPGing with you guys today. But, um, 
Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm clearly doing something wrong. I'm really curious, people who played this back in the day, like, what, what am I doing wrong? Like, I'm literally dying to characters that are two steps out of the bar. How are you not supposed to fight those people? Like, am I supposed to just run forever? But then dwarves mug me on the street. Was I supposed to just run and hopefully not die? I, I don't get it. Um, I have played games like this before. I do like them. Another one that comes to mind is Wasteland, which is a classic, classic game, very similar to this. Like, you have your combat just through dialogue and stuff and your characters. Um, RPGs like this can be really fun. Um, I'm not a fan of the old wizardry style first person perspective that we had here because I find it too disorienting these days. I'd rather have a top down view or um, an actual 3D view, which I know is beyond the capabilities of 1986. You can't hold it against this game, but uh, a view where you can actually like move around in 3D is a little better, but where it's just like, because the thing I find here, let's hold on. Let's just remove one person, add Nick, and let's just enter the city again. I just want to show you guys the thing I find disorienting about this is like if I look to the left, I see this, but then when I look to the right, I see this. And to the left, it doesn't look like a bar. It just looks like a, a building with an open doorway. And then like, like which way am I facing now, right? And so if I just walk out here for a sec, like how do I get back to where I was? Like, can you guys figure it out, right? Like it's a little disorienting, I find. And it was a limitation of the time, you know, but it was very easy to get lost in these kinds of games, I find. Um, like, like I don't know where I am now. I, I now officially don't know where. I, oh, wait. Nope, this is not the starting area. Okay, so I'm totally lost now. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things of like, this is the best I could do. It was very cool at the time. But these days, I feel like this kind of first person interface is more confusing than anything um but hey those are just my thoughts i thought that was the starting bar it was not those are my thoughts what do you guys think of the bard's tale and other rpgs like it first of all if you have played the bard's tale let me know what i did wrong in this one five kobolds have come to kill me perfect <laughs> let me know what i did wrong because i really want to know how you're supposed to make any progress in this game um but if you do have fond memories of this one let me know again I, I like RPGs like this generally, but just this one seems, for whatever reason, unplayable for me today. So, shame. Um, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this very brief uh, look. This, this, this should go on like a playlist called Gaming Fails or something, but a brief look at The Bard's Tale was the game in the book, A Thousand Video Games Just Play Before You Die. Actually, why don't we see what the book literally says about this one? That'll give us some historical context for understanding why this was so important, even if I totally suck at it and I can't make any real progress here. I'm looking under B for Bard's Tale, but I think it's under the for, or T for the Bard's Tale. Wait, it's not under that one either. Wait, where's Bard's Tale? Oh, wait, it, it was under B after all. I just, I, I missed it. The Bard's Tale. In most role-playing games, bards are a niche class. A callow mix of rogue, healer, uh, and play enchantment dispenser. Frankly, bards are like the lost class. In modern RPGs, I feel like bards have just been given up on. Like you have warriors and clerics. Uh, you have like summoner classes and magician stuff. You don't really see bards. Musicians don't really get a class anymore in most RPGs. It's kind of interesting, actually, how that's just sort of faded away. Uh, and the bard sales are a central piece of the party, one of the last lines of defense in a city played with invasion. Scabre is suffering under the minions of a wizard. While the entire game takes place inside the city, Scarabre offers streets, sewers, catacombs, even a wine cellar. Diligent players mapped it all with pen and paper. Uh, I remember doing stuff like that. That That's kind of cool. Uh, exploring straightforward dungeon crawl that's competed head-on with major franchises like Wizardry and Ultima. Like Wizardry, it gave most of the screen to the player's stats. Um, talks about a first-person view here. The conceit of a bard who sang your triumphs and guided uh, naive young adventurers to victory. The Bard's Tale inspired two sequels, and in 2004, In Exile even produced a complete reimagining 
brought the drunken bluster of the titular hero to the console era, mocking the cliches of the genre without adding any new ones uh, in its own. Meanwhile, Interplay, uh, the game's original developer, would redefine the role-playing genre in the 90s by publishing the first two Fallouts and plain Escape Torment. I mean, Fallout's a way more playable game, I think, than this. Um, I mean, Fallout is an amazing game, to be honest. That RPG blew me away. It's funny how in the, the review in the 1001 book for The Bard's Tale, by the end of it, they're just bringing up better games. <laughs> so, um, again, back in the day, I think this would have been more fun. Um, and it's not like I don't like RPGs like this. Don't get me wrong. But this one, it seems like the difficulty scaling here is sort of like all over the place. And again, if I'm doing something wrong, let me know. I'm very curious to hear. But um, interesting, interesting RPG. And it seems like it just took the wizardry format, gave some cool looking EGA graphics and stuff. I'm sure back in the day it would have been fun to slog through this one, build up some fun, tough characters and go take the monsters to task. But uh, it ain't happening for us today. Guys, I hope you had fun. Uh, somehow, for some reason, and uh, give this video a thumbs up um, or spam it with thumbs downs if you want. You can't hurt me either way. But uh, that's all I got to say. I don't know. I'm just I'm just filling air at this point, guys. It was fun. I will catch you in the next video. We'll do better in the next game. I promise you. Until then, my friend, do take care of yourselves and peace.